Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. My name's Matt, and today we're going to take a look at a pair of raw delayed 5.56 rifles developed in the 1980s. The Semi L was the last raw delayed rifle to be adopted as a service arm, while the Heckler & Koch G41 was the last rifle to be developed by HK, using the raw delayed blowback system. Both rifles are the final iterations of two developmental trees, which began with the developments of German engineers working at SETMI in Spain in the 1950s. I won't go too much into the history of the Model L, as we'll be covering this in a later video, and I've already covered the G41's history in a full length video. Don't forget to check that out if you haven't already. Okay, let's jump right in and compare the two rifles. The SETMI has a bit of a reputation for being cheap, but this is a relatively unbattered example and feels quite solid. I thought it'd be interesting to compare these two rifles as both feed from Stenag magazines, unlike the HK33 which uses a proprietary HK mag. Both rifles were designed to use the newly introduced NATO SS109 5.56 round, and both have 1 in 7 twist barrels, with the L having a slightly shorter barrel at 15.7 inches compared to the G41's 17.7 inch barrel and both rifles were capable of firing rifle grenades. Both guns have two cross pins however the 41 differs from the L and other earlier HKs as it has a butt assembly which fits into the receiver rather than around it. Its cross pins are at the top and bottom of the receiver rather than the two being at the bottom. This spreads the stresses on the receiver vertically rather than laterally. Both weapons have pin storage holes in their butt for safekeeping of the pins while field stripping. Much like the earlier SETMIs and HK rifles, to disassemble the Model L we remove the pins holding the butt assembly to the receiver and then slide the bolt assembly out the back of the rifle. Okay, one of the most notable features about the Setmi's bolt is the long rod protruding out the back of the bolt assembly. This acts on the recoil spring housed inside the butt. The L's recoil spring, unlike the G41's, is captive inside the butt rather than nested inside the rear of the bolt carrier. The Setmi's bolt is also much squarer than the G41's, which I imagine simplified machining and the designing of the receiver stamping itself. Here are some close-ups of the bolt and bolt carrier. Note the long rectangular extension which interfaces with the charging handle assembly. The L doesn't have the provision to lock the bolt back in a slot like the HK does, so no set me slap for the Spanish soldiers. However, it did have a bolt hold open. You can just make out the angle cut in the top of the bolt carrier assembly, which interfaces with the bolt catch. The bolt hold open release catch is located in the rear sight base, which isn't the most ergonomic place to put it. The G41 however has both the classic HK hold open notch and an AR style paddle bolt release, which was part of the modernization of the platform. In terms of sights, the HK has the standard diopter drum sights, and these are adjustable from 100 to 400 meters. It can also mount a scope using the HK claw mount, while the Setmi L has simpler folding aperture sights with adjustments from 200 to 400 meters. The Setmi weighs in at 3.72 kilograms or 8.2 pounds unloaded, while the G41 is the heavier of the two at 4.31 kilograms or 9.5 pounds. The G41 is also slightly longer than the L at nearly 100 centimeters or 39 inches in length, while the Setmi is 92.5 centimeters or around 36 inches long. The HK has an ambidextrous selector with positions for safe, semi and three round burst as well as full auto. The Setmi has a simpler fire control group with settings for safe, semi and full auto. It isn't ambidextrous and only has a selector on the left side of the receiver. 
Other external differences include the HK's folding plastic ejection port cover and forward assist. The Setme has neither of these. The G41 also has a folding carry handle near its point of balance. Ergonomically, both rifles are comfortable to shoulder and handle, but neither have adjustable stocks. Right then, let's strip the G41. First, we're gonna remove the pins from the rear. And then slide the butt assembly off. Then we'll pull the charging handle to the rear. Then we can take the pistol grip assembly off. This can actually be removed at any point after the butt assembly has been taken off. And slide the bolt, carrier and recoil spring out the back. And that is the basic field stripping of HK's G41. And if you'd like to see the bolt stripped down further, you can see that in our full length G41 video. Looking closer at the recoil spring, we can see that it's double wound. And the HK's bolt head is significantly longer than the Setme's. And of course here we can see the serrations for the forward assist. In this photo we can see the HK33, G41 and Setme L's bolts all alongside one another. The bolt heads of the two rifles appear to be similar in shape and of course concept, but none of the parts are interchangeable. Ok let's quickly reassemble the Setme L. First we're going to slide the bolt assembly back into the receiver. And then because the mainspring is integral to the butt assembly, we just have to place the butt back onto the receiver. And then we're going to put the two cross pins back in. They're a little bit stiff. There we go, and then we'll put the mag back in and we'll do a function check. The mag is actually quite difficult to get in because of the tight dimensions of the magazine housing. So we'll charge the rifle, and you can actually see here the charging handle assembly acting on the extension from the bolt. Also of note, there is no hold open notch on the set me like there is with the HK. And because we haven't used the bolt hold open, when we release the charging handle, the bolt just goes forward. And now let's reassemble the HK G41 as well. So like the set me, we'll put the bolt assembly into the receiver first. Then we'll reattach the pistol grip module. Bit of a two-handed job holding the pistol grip in alignment while we reattach the butt assembly. Then we'll put the two cross pins through. And then we'll function check the rifle. And as this is an HK, we get to the HK slap. Neither rifle is in mainline service with a major military today, with the G41 never seeing substantial sales, and the Semi L being largely replaced by the weapon that superseded the G41, the gas operated G36. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this comparison video. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out our previous videos on the HK G41. HK33 and the G3 itself.
We'll take a more detailed look at the Setme L in the future. And in the meantime, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Sharing our videos helps us reach new viewers and beat YouTube's unfriendly algorithm. If you enjoyed the video, please consider supporting us over on Patreon. And just a dollar a month goes a long way to supporting our work. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.